Hello everyone, I'm Sora Blutfi and today we are going to talk about DNA and the genetic material. Okay? Before we start, I'm going to briefly talk about some of the important characteristics involved in the expression of genes, uh, uh, of genes and transmission of genetic information. Okay, first up is how do the cells store information? Okay, so within the cell there is a structure called chromosome. Okay, that contain uh, genetic materials in the form of DNA or deoxyribo deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay, that is the main character in storing information. Okay, and chromosomes are visible when the cell is dividing, and Another fact is that you have to use a blue dye that bonds to DNA to see the chromosomes and the DNA of a cell. Okay? Okay. Now let's talk about DNA, the genetic material. Okay? Uh, before a cell divides to become two cells, the DNA is first copied and each of the two cells that are going to form have the same genes as the first cell or the mother cell. Okay? Each chromosome contains one very long DNA molecule okay, with thousands of genes which each gene is a section of the long DNA of the chromosome. Okay? And another fact is that genes are the units of inheritance in living organisms. Okay? The, these genes that have been inherited encode for all the uh, proteins and the information necessary for the function of the cell and the functioning of uh, the animal itself or the organism itself. Okay, so at first you began as a cell stocked with DNA, okay, inherited from your parents. And the replication of that DNA prior to each cell division uh, transmitted copies of the DNA, of that particular DNA, to what even eventually became the trillions of cells uh, of your body. Okay? As the cells grew and uh, 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 sorry, uh, divided, uh, the genetic information encoded by the DNA directed your development. Okay. Uh, the molecular structure of DNA okay, accounts for its ability to store information. Okay. A DNA molecule is made up of two long strands which is shown over here okay. uh, and the uh, binding of these strands is called a double helix okay. that looks like a ladder that has been turned. Okay. Each chain is made up of four kinds of molecular uh, building blocks called nucleotides. Okay, uh, uh, all of these little parts, okay, that are colored, uh, uh, are called nucleotides. Okay, and we have four kinds of them that uh, uh, are named T for thymine, C for cytosine. G for guanine and A for adenine. Okay, so we will talk about more on them later on. These molecules include A, C, T, and G. Okay, that bind to each other in their in this order: A with T and C with G. Okay which you can remember by the mnemonic uh, apples in the tree, okay, meaning the A with the T, apple A and T for tree, and uh, uh, cars in the garage, cytogen and guanine uh, with each other, okay. These molecules, when are in a specific sequence, encode the information uh, 
uh, information uh, that is necessary and is stored inside a gene. The way DNA encodes information is like people making words using the alphabet. Okay, but the DNA has four alphabets, uh, and we humans have 26 alphabets in English. Okay, many genes in chromosomes are blueprints uh, for making uh, a protein. Okay. For instance, a bacteria gene encodes for uh, a, part, a protein that uh, breaks down sugars, but humans produce proteins to fight infections, like uh, the antibodies that uh, white blood cells produce. In conclusion, proteins are the major players in building and maintaining the cell and carrying out its activities. Okay, but the protein encoding genes, which we uh, talked about a few minutes ago, control protein production. Okay, uh, indirectly using a related molecule called RNA. At first, the nucleotides uh, of DNA, okay, the strands of RNA, uh, are transcribed into mRNA or the messenger kind of RNA, okay, uh, uh, which doesn't uh, have the nucleotides uh, T, okay, it doesn't have that nucleotide. It has uh, U besides of T, okay, uracil not timing. Uh, nucleotides, uh, nucleotide and uh, the other nucleotides are the same. Okay? And another structural difference uh, is that DNA is made up of two strands, but RNA is made up of just one uh, single strand, okay? as shown in this picture. After the DNA is transcribed into messenger RNA or mRNA, it is translated into a linked series of protein building blocks called amino acids. Okay? Uh, after it is completed, the amino acid chain is folded on itself uh, to uh, a specific sh uh, shape of that particular protein that is going uh, that is unique to each protein okay the entire process that, are, that i explained is called gene expression okay uh, another fact is that a particular sequence of nucleotides say the same thing in one organism as it does in other uh, organisms or animals for example the gene that we use to produce insulin okay uh, is the same gene in other animals uh, and uh, we can produce insulin if we inject bacteria with the insulin producing gene okay and they will produce an insulin and we can just extract insulin uh, from bacteria another fact is that the differences between organisms reflect differences between their genetic codes okay and uh, the uh, universality of uh, the genetic code is a strong piece of evidence that all life is related to each other. Okay? As I said a few minutes ago, uh, mRNA molecules are translated to protein. Okay? But other cellular RNAs uh, function differently. Okay. For example, scientists have known for decades that some types of RNA are actually components of the cellular uh, machinery okay? that manufacture proteins, but I don't mean the mRNA that we were talking about. I mean the tRNA or trans, uh, uh, transfer RNA. Okay? Uh, so, there. Uh, the RNA that is responsible 
for creating uh, the amino acids to their the, uh, not creating carrying the amino acids to their destination okay recently scientists discovered a whole new classes uh, of rna that play uh, other roles in the cell such as regulating the functioning of protein coding genes okay now some of you might be uh, thinking that uh, do genes specify all the uh, rnas and the answer is yes uh, and their production is also re uh, referred to as gene expression okay so in conclusion by carrying the instructions for making proteins and rnas and by replicating with each cell division dna ensures faithful inheritance uh, of genetic information from generation to uh, generation Congratulations, everyone. We have reached the end of another lecture. Okay, and in the next lecture, I am going to talk about large scale nucleot uh, no, sorry, large scale analyses of DNA sequence. Okay, so until then, goodbye.